Well, I think you can officially call yourself a gardener when a morning of rain actually brings you a lot of joy. I woke up this morning and my first thought was, my goodness me, the plants really needed this rain. So everything is looking really soggy, really wet, but I'm really happy about it because number one, it means I don't have to go out and water the plants this evening. And number two, it means that everything is getting a good old drink. So I'm actually happy to see rain for once <laughs> in the summer months. A proper good morning, everyone. Honestly, I can't believe how much I am loving this rain, but any gardener will know. I feel like when you water your plants, it's just not the same as when it rains. Like you can try your hardest. I often will use like a sprinkler. I'll give the plants like a proper water as if it's rain because I think it is quite good for them to feel the kind of like pressure of the water droplets um, and feel is it trauma it's called. Like when you're supposed to give your plants like a little shake so that they can feel what wind feels like when you water them so that they can feel what rain feels like. So I do do that. I try and give them like a proper sprinkle as well as a good water at the roots. But I feel like it's just not the same as rain water like there is something in the rainwater that just revitalizes them and it's always really lovely to get the lawn looking a little bit greener again although I made a boo-boo I completely forgot that I had left my um Amazon gardening bag outside so this is now sopping wet along with my little knee pad so I've just put that there and hopefully it will dry in no time I came down this morning looked outside and just went <gasps> Oh my goodness, and I've never done that before. I've never left anything outside that's not supposed to be there. So um, hopefully that dries okay. But yeah, it's gonna be a bit of a day in the house today. I feel like we've just been spoiled with the weather recently, having such gorgeous continuous sunshine that I'm not mad about the fact that we've got a day in the house because I do have a lot of work to crack on with. I've got a couple of meetings today, but first I need to make myself an iced coffee so that I can get started with my day. And I'm so excited because I finally, have picked up the iced coffee capsules from Nespresso. Um, what are these actually called? I can't remember the name of them. The Freddo Delicato? They always have the weirdest names for their coffees. Um, but I would definitely recommend if you are into iced coffee to heading to Nespresso and picking these up because they are just absolutely delicious. I often will just make iced coffees with any capsules that we've got here. I need to do a little bit of a capsule top up because um, we are running low. Um, but yeah, I'll usually just do it with a normal Nespresso capsule for a hot coffee. With regards to my machine, they don't actually make cold coffees. So you'll see every single morning when I do my coffee, a little montage. Um, with you I literally just put the ice in and then put the hot coffee over that and then I try and pour the milk quite quickly so that the ice doesn't melt too much um, and I find that it tastes absolutely fine if you wanted to do yourself a proper oh what are they called is it delicate Delegato? No, Afrigato? I can't remember the word, but you know when it's like a proper frothy iced coffee, you could actually use the um, separate Nespresso milk frother, but to be perfectly honest, I just don't really see the point of it. I would love it if this one did a cold froth. It would be so, so handy, but it only does a hot one, unfortunately. Um, another option you could do is just doing a normal hot coffee, maybe putting it in the fridge for a couple of hours and popping ice in it, but I do not have time for that because I always like to make my morning coffee as soon as I am up and dressed and ready for the day. So I can finally use my new ice coffee capsules. I'm going to give the um, the little tower a top up as well of some of our favourite capsules because that's looking very, very empty. But so, so happy that I finally, finally picked up a box. You're gone now. Will you call me back? Yeah, I know that. Yeah, I know that. You're the travelling So I've had quite a productive morning on my laptop this morning, just going through emails, edits, admin, all of the things that I need to get done. I might actually give my face a bit of a spritz because I feel like I always look really tired after I've had a bit of an admin morning. This is the Omoravitsia Queen of Hungry Mess and I always love this for just mm, a bit of a hydration top up. Oh, <sighs> always feels so good. And you guys know what I'm like whenever I've had a couple of hours of admin time, just like sitting, being on my laptop. I always like to get just like a bit of movement into my body. So I've actually just come upstairs and spent the last half an hour steaming these pieces behind me because they arrived yesterday and I'm not gonna lie, they are all linen items. So they were a bit creased up and that's always the best piece of advice I would give whenever it comes to online orders is to steam your items before you try them on. Cause I feel like it always really helps you decide how the pieces are going to actually look. But these pieces behind 
explain to me. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see them, but when I tell you, this is one of my favorite summer hauls I think I've ever, ever done. I haven't, I haven't even tried the pieces on yet, but just every single one of these items I am in love with. And I feel like I've been saying that with every single haul I've done from this brand recently, and that is Forever New. I am so obsessed with Forever New at the moment. Actually, the dress that I'm wearing is Forever New, and I did not do that deliberately. I just put this one on this morning because it's one of my comfiest dresses. I always wear this if I've just got like a day at home. I know I'm not gonna be leaving the house. If I'm gonna be gardening, if I know that I'm doing like things where I just wanna be comfortable but still looking really, really elevated. Um, so yeah. Got a Forever New on dress that I love, but oh my goodness me, I feel like Forever New have just come into their own this year. I discovered them and started purchasing from them maybe about two years ago. I got quite a few gorgeous dresses from them last year, but this year, everything they're releasing at the moment, I'm just obsessed with. I'm absolutely obsessed, and I feel like Instagram now knows because I keep getting targeted ads from them, which is why I've been placing so many calls from them. But one thing I would say about Forever New is I feel like they're a really, really great mid price pointed brand. I would actually say in terms of quality and design and how stunning the pieces are and how like long lasting they are in my wardrobe, I would actually put them on par with brands like Zimmerman, Alame, maybe even Reformation, like they have some really, really gorgeous designs and they are so, so well made. But in terms of price points, they're like a really mid-tiered price point. They're so much more accessible than brands like Simmon, which is what I absolutely love about them. They're obviously not high street, but they are so well made and so, so beautiful. And you definitely will get your cost per wear out of these pieces. So let me show you what I have been picking up because honestly another gorgeous gorgeous haul from forever new okay i'm gonna start with the dress that i am most excited about because if you watch my last forever new haul i'll leave a link down below in the description box if you do want to watch it without tooting my own horn too much i would definitely recommend a watch because there are some really really gorgeous dresses in that haul as well but i literally said in that video they need to bring out this the exact dress that I am holding. If you remember the gorgeous white mini number, I said to you guys, this would have been perfect in like a mid axi and it looks like the forever new gods were looking down on me because that is exactly what they have created. And oh my goodness me, if a dress could say Ellie any more than this, this is literally the epitome of an Ellie dress, a gorgeous white midi dress. You know I love a little white dress for summer. It's got the gorgeous little puff sleeves and the sweetheart neckline and oh my word it is just the most perfect thing ever it is a linen fabric which i love because it means it's really lightweight really comfortable and breathable for summer and it's just the most perfect silhouette i do also have this dress in a different pattern and colorway i've got it in a gorgeous like pink floral which i am just obsessed with i've had so many compliments on that dress already and i have a feeling this is going to be a dress that gets complimented loads as well it is just so beautiful i love the silhouette of it. it just hugs your figure so so beautifully and it's not a trend led item it's not a trendy silhouette it's not the kind of thing that's going to date this is going to last in my wardrobe for such a long time i'm really going to get my cost per wear out of this dress and i am so excited about that oh my goodness me is this not just the most ellie dress you have ever ever seen it. I think Forever New needs to rename this dress because if I could design my own dress it would be this. It would literally be this. We've got the puff sleeves, we've got the gorgeous sweetheart neckline, we've got the stunning silhouette and the length is just perfect. I love the way that you just have your little sandals poking out underneath. I think it's just so so gorgeous and I love the fact that it's got this really lovely big open neckline. This feels quite bridal actually which I really like. I think this would be so so lovely for like an engagement engagement party if you had like a bridal shower or something like that I think this would be so so beautiful do you know what you could do actually which would be adorable let's say you're going on your hen do maybe you've got like a big night out you've got something really really important you wear this and then your bridesmaids or like your hen party wears the pink floral version I mean it's extra but I kind of love that idea I think it's really really cute does it have pockets no we've just got a little zip on the side to um get you done up I'm just so obsessed with the shape of it I think it's just really really flattering and I love the fact that it's got a smocked bodice on the back it's always really difficult to show you my back in the mirror but it's got a smock bodice so it means it just fits really really nicely and is super easy to slip on and off so I think this is going to be a dress that you see me in an awful lot throughout the summer months it just feels so me it feels so elegant 
elegant and beautiful and I love how timeless and classic it is so I apologize in advance because you're probably going to get sick of the sight of this dress <laughs> next dress you would have seen sitting behind me is this absolutely stunning floral number now one thing that forever new do really really well is different colorways different patterns in the same kind of style they actually do a great job of basically mixing and matching their entire collection so i've seen this silhouette in a really really gorgeous pink style it's the same colorway and pattern as my little mini dress that I've got from Forever New. I'll post a little picture here so that you know what I'm talking about. And I saw that first and I really, really loved it, but they didn't have that in my size. And I remember that was a couple of months ago. Well, they have now released this version of the dress and I fell in love with it. I love the fact that it's actually a bit different because I don't have anything in my wardrobe like this. I don't have anything this kind of like colorway or pattern or anything like that. And I just thought it was so, so gorgeous. So it's this really stunning like off-white background, which I think is gorgeous. And it has these beautiful floral designs to it we've got what have we got on here in terms of flowers this looks like a chrysanthemum to me we've got some little strawberries over there we've got some blue floral is that a lily that looks like a daisy to me honestly i need to like really clue up my knowledge on flowers because i love knowing exactly what is on my dresses but the thing i loved the most about this is the silhouette of this it's a really gorgeous kind of off the shoulder design with these stunning puff sleeves now, i'm not going to lie to you this belt not really entirely sure why they've got it. I feel like it's not needed, but maybe I need to try it on and see. I think I could take this off. It's got the tiniest little loops attached to it, so it's not going to look weird if I do take it off. It's not as if I've got like these massive belt loops just sitting there doing nothing. But to tell you the truth, I don't really know why they've added it because I feel like it's just not really necessary to the silhouette of the dress. But I just love the fact that it's like this really lovely, kind of quite a full mid axi skirt and a stunning bodice. Oh my goodness me. Um, one thing I will say about this dress is that I don't think you could wear this to a wedding because this to me is too white. I know we've spoken about wedding guest styling a lot and I asked you guys in my phase eight video about like what you think is okay and there's always so many mixed opinions with what you think is okay in terms of a wedding. Personally for me, this isn't patterned enough this isn't floral enough and it is quite still like a white dress i feel like the main focus of this dress is the kind of like white background and then the flowers are just kind of an addition to it but let me know your thoughts would you be okay if someone wore this to your wedding do you think this is acceptable to wear to someone else's wedding comment down below but regardless i can think of lots of different occasions i'll be able to wear this to i do have quite a few events coming up this summer that i think this would be stunning to wear to maybe like christenings garden parties anything like that i think this would just be so so gorgeous oh my goodness me wow that's all i can say about this dress just wow this is absolutely stunning one of the most beautiful dresses i think i've ever ever put on i did take off the belt because i really just didn't think it was necessary it has this lovely silhouette it doesn't have like a particular waistband do you know what i mean like i often feel like when you've got little belts like that it really helps because you've got a little waistband or it's like completely smocked whereas this just has this beautiful kind of like free-flowing silhouette and i just felt like the waistband almost like took away from that i'm just tucking in the little um the bits to hang it up i don't really know why they put these on here because i didn't even use them it's got rubber um which does keep it on the hanger for the most part other than when i whacked myself on the face with it um so i'm just gonna end up cutting those off um but the neckline of this is so so beautiful like just an absolutely stunning neckline i feel like with like a gorgeous string of pearls this would look so beautiful love the fact that the sleeves are a little bit longer as well these puff sleeves just go down kind of to your elbow and i think that's really really flattering and lengthwise it is completely completely maxi on me i think with like a cute little pair of strappy sandals or like espadrilles would look so so perfect with this the more i look at this the more i actually think this would be a gorgeous like bridal outfit maybe like the night before your wedding um you can tell what my mind is on at the moment because everything kind of keeps reverting back to bridal wedding things like that um but the night before like for your rehearsal dinner or if you're having like a garden party the day after and a lot of people do that now i think this would be so so gorgeous for that the more i'm looking at it though the more i'm questioning do i actually have anything to wear this to because i don't know if this is too formal 
but as I said, I do have a few events coming up and this could just be like a really lovely extra bougie dress to wear. So let me know what you think. Do I keep it or do I return it just in case I don't have anything to wear it to? But then again, I could just keep it in my wardrobe and then it's a really, really lovely one if I get like a last minute invite to something a bit more special because it does feel very very special. I am absolutely in love with the print and the pattern as well. I think it's really gorgeous. I love the way that the red poppies actually stand out the most when you're wearing it. Um, when I first saw it, I was like, oh, it's a very yellow dress. Whereas now that I've got it on, I'm like, oh, I'm seeing the blue and the red a little bit more. So it's a really, really beautiful number. So let me know your thoughts down below. I... I think I might keep it because I just think it's absolutely beautiful. You've heard of if I like it, I'll just get it in another colour. But what about if they have it in that colour, I'll get one of everything. Is that the TikTok sound that I'm thinking of? But oh my goodness me. I just fell in love with this version of the dress. As you guys know, I love this silhouette. I find a sweetheart neckline is so flattering on my figure. I feel like it just works so, so well. And one thing I love about this is it actually has this kind of rubbery material. So I feel like you could pull the straps down if you wanted to go for a completely strapless bardo style but it's just such a gorgeous colorway i feel like this one's a little bit more casual as well so you can probably find a bit more that you can wear this to like a lot more different occasions i think would work for this dress i just love the fact that you've got your shoulders out you've got the tiny little spaghetti straps and of course they are adjustable which is always a very very big plus for me it's another absolute beauty to add into my summer wardrobe i feel like these dresses just keep getting better and better look at this Oh my word, this is absolutely beautiful. I love the bodice on this. It's just so figure hugging, so flattering. And of course, a sweetheart neckline. You know I love a sweetheart neckline. And of course, the straps are adjustable, so it fits so nicely. There's nothing worse than spaghetti straps that you can't adjust because everyone has different like shoulder lengths. And as a shorter girl, I have a very, very short bodice. So I always need my straps to be a lot shorter than most people do. But I just love the way that it just kind of like floats I think is the best way to describe it on your waist and hips it's so so beautiful the one thing I wish is that it wasn't a full length I wish it was more of a midi because I think it would have made it a little bit more wearable as you can see it just hits the floor I just have it flats on at the moment but I think with a cute little pair of like heeled espadrilles this would be a perfect perfect length so it would just be like an inch or so above the floor but I do wish it was more of a midi because I think it would just make it a little bit more casual but again love the print on this love the kind of like patterns and the florals I think they're just so so beautiful so can I justify keeping both of these dresses or do I need to decide between one of them let me know down below now as well as doing it the most gorgeous floral designs I feel like forever new do some like really gorgeous old money aesthetic dresses and this is one that I just fell in love with I can totally picture Sophia Ritchie wearing this I feel like this is going to be such a beautiful summer dress it's this really gorgeous black again linen halter neck dress and I'm loving halter necks at the moment you might have noticed I've been wearing them a lot and I always get questions about what bra I wear with them so I will leave the bralette that I wear linked down below because it's like a tea back bra which means that you don't get the annoying straps showing on the side of the dress and I found that that bra was revolutionary because it means I can wear these dresses but still be super comfortable I don't have to go braless I don't have to go strapless I can just be super comfy in what I am wearing but the thing that I fell in love with with this dress most is actually these cut out side details now I'll let you in on a little secret a cut out side detail is the easiest way to give you the most stunning silhouette and make you look tiny in the waist the way that it kind of like cinches in your waist you'll see when I do the try on oh it always just pulls you in so so beautifully I love the fact that they had these little cutouts I just thought that was so so gorgeous and this is the kind of dress I can just picture myself wearing so much throughout summer this is great for garden parties this is great for potting around in the garden the fact that it's linen means it's going to be super comfy and super breathable but the fact that it's black means I'll be able to wear it for day or night I'll be able to dress it up or dress it down so these are the kind of dresses that I just live in throughout summer I find them so easy to wear so easy to start and they really last the test of time in my wardrobe this dress has quite literally taken my breath away look at this oh my goodness me I am so so in love with this this is a pockets this one has pockets oh my word this is just absolutely stunning look at these cut out details obviously as a shorter girl they fall a little bit lower than me and I think they would on most people I think most people it wouldn't quite hit your hips but I kind of love the way that it hits my hips I think it creates this really beautiful silhouette what is this 
tell it's a label. <laughs> That's one that I need to um, cut off because this dress is definitely staying. I love the Holtz neck design as well. I think it looks so, so beautiful. There's nothing worse than when they come down too low. Like it sits really, really nicely under my armpit. I know I talk about that a lot. But there's nothing worse than getting a roll around your bra strap on a Holtz neck. Like this just sits so, so beautifully and looks it literally looks like it was made for me like it looks tailored i am absolutely obsessed love the length as well because i can wear flats or heels with this i definitely think this is the kind of dress you can easily dress up or dress down like add a little bit more sparkly jewelry like a bit more of an evening bag and some heels and you've got a gorgeous like date night dress pair it with slides and a basket bag and you've got something a bit more kind of every day this is one of those dresses that i think i'm just gonna live in throughout the summer months oh my goodness me i am so now you guys know that I have one of three rules when it comes to adding in pieces into my wardrobe. Either it is filling a gap in your wardrobe or it is replacing or upgrading something that you already own. And this next dress is a replacement for something that I have owned for about two years now and just absolutely loved. You may have seen on my Instagram, I've been wearing it quite a lot. It's a gorgeous white halter neck linen dress from Bowdoin. And I'll explain why I'm having to upgrade it in a minute, but... I saw this and just fell in love with it. It's really, really similar in style. I love the fact that it's got the halter neck, love the fact that it's got this kind of cinched in waist and differently to the black one, it doesn't have the cutout detail. So if you're not a fan of a cutout, this one might be a bit more for you. But what I loved is this little bow at the back. I feel like it just added such a lovely design detail because obviously it's all white, it's all linen. So it could be seen as a little bit like boring. So I love the fact that they've added that in. I feel like it would look so, so lovely with a bit of a hair up kind of outfit. And this is one of those dresses I just know I am going to live in in summer i lived in that bowden number and i knew i had to replace it so i know i'm going to get to my cost per wear out of this dress because i wear it all the time i love this kind of style and silhouette it's so easy to start so easy to dress up dress down and it's super super comfortable for summer so really happy to have added this into my wardrobe we are ending on a high with this gorgeous little halter neck oh my goodness me this one doesn't have pockets unfortunately it's the one thing that i feel like it is missing but other than that i love it i love the elasticated waist detail it's like really really cinched in and it's actually quite balloony at the top which i actually think is kind of flattering in my head this was going to be pretty much the exact same silhouette as the black one but it's actually quite different so i think it's really really nice i love the bow detail at the back i definitely think that if you were to do like a hair up look it would just be so so cute with this and i love the fact that it's double lined as well so it's not see-through at all because i know whenever i show you guys white dresses it's always like my top comment is is it see-through not at all which i'm really really happy about i think this is going to be the perfect replacement for my bowden dress so we are ending on a high another amazing forever new haul honestly forever new you are doing my bank balance some serious serious damage but i'm just so obsessed with all of their dresses the bowden dress in question you guys definitely will have seen me wearing this a lot on my instagram this is one that i am looking to replace because i don't know if you can see here i feel like it didn't really show up on my instagram but particularly in real life so many people have commented on it and i feel like on camera i can really really see it but it has this annoying little stain down here and i actually have taken this to the dry cleaners three times the first time they came back and said look i'm really sorry we can't get it off so but we can try again with something a bit stronger i said yep yeah, please could you try again sent it back the second time they came back and said it still won't come off we have one more option that we could use but if we use it it could damage the dress irreversibly so it's kind of like you know what let's do it because it's already kind of ruined anyway so if you ruin it more you know then it's not the end of the world so they did it again and it's still didn't come off so they ended up having to send an apology saying we're really sorry but we cannot get the stain off um i have literally tried bleaching it i have tried everything there's even like a little one just here as well and i don't know where these have come from um unfortunately i took it out of storage um early in the spring already looking like that so i think that's maybe part of the reason why because i hadn't noticed when i'd put it away in storage that it had a stain otherwise i would have cleaned it and i'm sure it would have come off straight away but i don't even know what it is it looks like probably chocolate knowing me um but 
months, every time I wear this dress, people come and tell me, going, oh no, you've got a stain. And I'm like, yes, I know. So I just cannot wear it anymore, which is such a shame because it's always been one of my favorite, favorite dresses. It's just like a gorgeous white linen halter neck. Um, the one thing that this has that the Bowden one doesn't is pockets. So it's such a shame the Bowden one doesn't have pockets. Not the Bowden, sorry. The Forever New one doesn't have pockets, but the Bowden one does. Um, but I feel like the Forever New one is a great replacement for this because I would immediately buy this exact one if they did it in this color. They don't do it in this color anymore. They do a black and a blue version. For some reason, not the white. And you would have thought that the white's probably one of the most popular colors. So it's such a shame that I'm going to have to pass this on. I'm not entirely sure if I even offer it to charity because who's gonna want a stained dress? Do you know what I mean? It's just one of those really, really heartbreaking moments. I mean, I know it's like such tiny violin just playing for me, um, but I'm gutted, I'm heartbroken because it's the tiniest little stain, but it really does ruin it, the entire dress and I just really can't wear it anymore. So yeah, just thought I'd show you the dress in question and why I'm looking to replace it. I do apologize about the state of me. I feel like I am looking quite disheveled now, but it is quite a while later. And I feel like I have really made the most of today it has just been such a gray sky rainy day which as i said not mad about because the plants i'm sure are loving and actually i decided to really capitalize on today because when the sun is shining all i want to do is be outside and be enjoying the sunshine and soaking up the vitamin d and i feel like i neglect inside of the house so i thought today i would really make the most of the fact that it is gray and i don't want to be outside and just get those jobs done that i've been meaning to do inside of the house the jobs that kind of get neglected throughout the summer months like for example i know i said the other day that i really wanted to fix the um the, like blind up here obviously when i planted up my plants the other day they're looking amazing still got alex's <laughs> chili pot there that he is just absolutely loving he is in charge of that one he's been watering it every single day I'm not gonna lie i think he's over think he might be drowning the plant but I'm not going to tell him that I'm going to have to let him learn his own gardening lessons um but yeah I literally am not joking when I say that I had to stand on a stool and straddle the kitchen sink in order to do the um a blind up there because it was so difficult to get to and I am not tall enough um so yeah <laughs> managed to get that done today which I'm really really happy about I've also just been doing like a little bit of flower maintenance and just kind of getting the um the living space to an acceptable standard I feel like it just gets very messy it's never unclean but it's just very untidy you know when just things start to build up everywhere um so I've just given like the cushions a bit of a fluff up one of my jobs that I do about once a month at the moment is rotating my sofa cushions on my um gorgeous little snug sofa someone said to me that if you sit in the same spot and if you let the, the light hit it they can get some bleach and they can get a little bit like squished in one area so I like to rotate them and just kind of like fluff them up so I've been doing that um, and doing some flower maintenance and just looking after my dahlias and just giving everything like a bit of a cut and another water I've literally been bringing in like daily sweet pea posy vases at the moment and I am just absolutely loving it um, and then just giving everything a bit of a wipe down and making sure that it's all nice and clean and organized and there's just nothing better than a lovely freshly cleaned kitchen to have dinner in so on that note, I think I'm going to make us some dinner and we're going to hunger down for the evening. Good morning, everyone. It is the next day now and I am just currently getting myself ready for the day. I've gone a little bit extra on my makeup today. I feel like I've been really, really, I don't want to say basic, minimal. <laughs> let's say, with my makeup recently. I'm just really, really enjoying basically as little makeup as possible. I kind of want there to be like as little of a difference as possible with my non-makeup face compared to my makeup face because I'm really, really enjoying just like looking like me whenever I put my makeup on, but almost just like a slightly more enhanced version of me. So I've been really keeping it stripped back with regards to my skin. I'm just using the Hydra Tint from Sculpted by Amy at the moment, a little bit of bronzer, a little bit of blush, and then I've not really been doing much with my eyes recently. Recently, but I decided to go for a little bit of a classic Ellie liner flick. I feel like this is just such a like classic Ellie makeup look. Um, I've just put on it the little Bobbi Brown lip tint in Bear Bloom. Absolutely love this, but I'm dressing up a little bit more because I've got a really, really exciting day ahead. I'm actually heading to one of my favorite places in Hampshire. You guys know how much I rave about Hampshire and rave about the new forest, and there are so many gorgeous places to come and visit. And if there's one place that you definitely have to have on your hit list, even if it's not to stay, it's just to go there for the day, that is Chewton Glen. Chewton Glen is one of the most beautiful hotels down here in Hampshire. It's like a spa, hotel, and retreat, I think is the best way to describe it. They have the 
gorgeous house there they have stunning grounds and then they actually have these really amazing like private tree houses which a lot of celebrities book because they're so secluded and so private like you don't even have to leave them they will bring you your dinner there your breakfast there if you want to um and they have the most gorgeous spa facilities like a really lovely pool indoor and outdoor and it's just one of my favorite places to go and visit so we're actually just going there for the day today for my mom's birthday my sister and i got her an afternoon tea voucher so we're cashing it in today and i'm going for afternoon tea with g and mum which i am so so excited about because afternoon tea at shooting glen is supposed to be amazing and i've not actually done it and if you guys have been following me for a while you'll know we love ticking off afternoon tea locations and like we basically love to go to all of like the best places in the uk for afternoon tea we've done the ritz we've done claridge's we've done limewood we did the balmoral if you remember back in april um where else have we done? There's a few others. Oh, Fortnum and Mason. That was amazing. Loved Fortnum and Mason. And today we're going to tick off at Tute and Glare, which I'm really, really looking forward to. And before I get myself dressed for the day, I actually have something really, really exciting to unbox with you, which I feel like is perfect timing to unbox today. And that is a new Pandora order. As you guys know, I'm a Pandora ambassador. I just love being able to style up their jewelry with you guys and being able to like try different pieces, style up different layers and different collections from Pandora. And I know you guys always love seeing the styling. So I thought I would show you what we have in here. I actually have a 15% off discount code. This isn't affiliated with um, my ambassadorship at all. This is just something that I think they've just um, put in the box in terms of like they would for any other regular customer. So this is a very complicated code. I will leave that down below in the description box and the first person to use it because I'm going to assume you can only use it once. The first person to use it may use this discount code and get 15% off. So you're welcome. Be quick. Go on to Pandora and get some shopping in at 15% off. So I actually picked up a few new pairs of earrings today. So I'm going to need your help with regards to what to actually wear to Tutin Glen today because I just want to have a really gorgeous classic jewellery stack. So I'm going to start with a new pair that are actually completely brand new on Pandora and I just fell in love with these. It's this gorgeous pair of gold hoops. I mean, look at how stunning these are. So they've got the classic snake chain design to them, the classic snake chain pattern. And I just fell in love with the fact that they are like the first pair of just classic gold hoops that Pandora have ever ever done they've had a few where they've been like more like huggy style they've had a couple that have got the um like diamante detail to them but they've never actually done just like a classic gold hoop like this so as soon as I saw these online I could not add them to my basket any quicker because I just thought that these would be so perfect to add into my jewelry collection and you know how much I love mixing my metals oh my goodness me they are just like the perfect size do you know what I love love hoops for when I do a hair up look you know when you just have your hair scraped back and you feel like you need something more around your face like I feel like hoops are just a really really great way of just kind of like elevating your look and I love how these look one thing that Pandora do a lot actually which if you were really like cool and bougie and one of like those girls you could definitely do I'm definitely not cool enough to do but if you are this is a great tip you can actually add the Pandora charms to your earrings and I think that's really really cool they do really cute little like star charms you can get something really personal I think that's that's adorable thing to do they also have these earrings in silver so i'll leave both linked down below for you guys but i kind of love the gold i think they work really really well and then to add to the gold theme I picked up a really cute new little ring because I just really love being able to like mix my metals and do a few gold pieces paired up with my silver pieces. And when I saw this ring online, I just fell in love. And I've been loving doing like really stripped back jewelry at the moment, like literally one ring, one tiny little ring, and that's all I want to be wearing. I just feel like now that we're in summer, I love really like minimal stripped back everything at the moment makeup, skincare, fashion, jewelry. And I just thought this was so, so cute. If you want something that's like, completely like barely there kind of jewelry and i just love how that looks it's got this really cute little like knot almost like a little infinity symbol and i just thought that was adorable i mean obviously if you wanted to you could definitely stack it up with more jewelry pieces for like more rings whether they're silver or gold because that is one thing that pandora obviously are so huge on is being able to stack and layer but i actually think it just looks so so pretty by itself and obviously it pairs really really well with the gold earrings oh my goodness me i'm in love with this 
Now, depending on whether I'm going to go for a mixed metal look today or an all silver look, I've got another cute little pair of earrings. Now, this is a gorgeous little pair of silver huggies that I just fell in love with. Now, you'll know that the Pandora huggies are just like my favorite thing to wear day to day. They are so cute, like really, really easy to start and they're just so dainty and tiny. So let me take these out and we can swap them over. Oh my goodness, how cute do those look? I actually have these in the gold already and I all also have, if I can show you from my lovely Stackers jewellery box, I have the bigger version of these. So I've had these ones for a little while now and they're like a kind of in-between size. They do lots of different sizes with their hoops. So they're not quite as big as the gold, but they're not quite as tiny as these huggies that I've got in. So these, I feel like have really filled a gap in my jewellery collection. And I love the fact that they've got the diamantes, but they're not like sparkly and spangly like they're very much everyday jewelry kind of a vibe so now that i've got these on i think these are going to be the ones that i wear today but i actually have a couple more pairs of earrings to show you but i don't know if they're quite right for today's vibe so i think i'm going to keep these huggies on but the other pair that i picked up are this really gorgeous little hoop stud now you know i have fallen in love with studs ever since working with pandora i never used to wear them but ever since working with them i just love their stud earrings and i really really love these because i do actually have the matching neck necklace to this which I will show you which is really really cute so I thought that these would look so beautiful together so what I love about Pandora is just how much everything is like mixing and matching sorry it's like twisted <laughs> everything mixes and matches and just pairs so beautifully together so I thought that would be really really cute for um, a little design and then the other one which again actually matches but it's like same same but different my favorite thing Pandora do is this gorgeous little pair of earrings. I'm just gonna have to show you one at a time. So again, they've got the gorgeous little like circle. I love the circles that they do. And one thing I really love as well is that on one side, they've got the diamantes, but on the other side, they've actually just got like the um, the classic silver with the hearts. So you could wear these any way you wanted, whether you wanted to have a little bit of bling or if you wanted to have them like completely played. Again, it pairs beautifully with the necklace. And I just love having like my matching jewelry that I can style up from Pandora. I then picked up the most beautiful bracelet I think I've ever, ever seen. Now, I feel like ever since the old money aesthetic has kind of like been revitalized, tennis bracelets have just been everywhere. And I wanted to add this to my tennis bracelet collection. I have a few from Pandora, which I'll show you in a minute. But this one I just fell in love with. It is so tiny and so dainty. And just look at the sparkle on that. What I really, really liked about this one is this is one of the bracelets that just has the adjustable um, ball strap, which I think these are perfect for gifts because there's nothing worse than giving someone a gift and not knowing their size, not knowing exactly what like they like in terms of like whether they like a loose bracelet, a tight bracelet and getting it wrong. So I really love the fact that because this is completely adjustable, it means that they don't have to worry about changing the size or changing the style of the bracelet that they have. So I really, really love that. And I think it just hangs down really nicely. And look at how tiny this is. Like I have really, really small wrists. So I do sometimes struggle with jewelry not being like dainty enough on me, but this is just the daintiest piece. So let me style it up with the other tennis bracelets that I have from Pandora because they're gonna go so beautifully together. Oh my goodness, how beautiful do these all look? Is three tennis bracelets too much? Maybe I'll take one off and just do two for the day. But I've got this one, which has got the really gorgeous like main diamante in the middle it's kind of like a charm style and then this one which is a very classic tennis bracelet style but slightly bigger than this one and I just think they look so beautiful which one should I take off maybe that one or maybe the middle one I think I'm going to take one off and just have it to to wear today but I absolutely love how that looks it together and then the last thing to show you is a really gorgeous new ring now I love the big kind of what's the word the rings that pandora do that makes it look like you're wearing multiple rings sometimes i love stacking my rings but sometimes it can be quite uncomfortable and i feel like it makes my finger look a bit fat i don't know if anyone else finds that so i love the fact that pandora do quite a few rings that look like multiple rings but are actually just one ring in itself and this one i picked up i just fell in love with it. it's got like a three crisscross over the top and i just thought it was so so beautiful i do have one that's like a two crisscross which i'm gonna have to try and find because <laughs> There it is. <laughs> Honestly, I really need to sort out my jewelry collection, but I've got this one, which I really love. And I feel like, I don't know if wearing them together would be too much, but if you want something like really OTT, maybe I'll put it on this hand. I can wear it next to my engagement ring. Yeah, that's really, really cute. And it's so perfect for like more of like an evening kind of look because they just look so much more, boom, 
you know what I mean? Like they're just so much more effective and I always get so many compliments on my more kind of like OTT Pandora rings. And I just think the crisscross is so, so beautiful. So really happy that I picked that up as well. Okay, I've got my final stack on ready for Tutor Nick Glenn today. I've gone very minimal, but like really chic with my jewelry today. So I've got the two tennis bracelets on. This is how much I love. I love the way that they crisscross over each other. I could even loosen this one a little bit and just make sure that they really like flop into each other because it's my favorite thing when bracelets do that and I do find when it comes to bracelets three is the magic number I like to do two on one hand and one on the other so I've brought out an oldie butter goodie we are mixing old and new today I've gone for my favorite pearl bracelet so I feel like it hasn't been getting the love it deserves recently I've not really been wearing it as much and it just pairs so beautifully with the engagement ring and then on this hand I've gone for my favorite little Pandora brilliance ring which is just so so gorgeous and we've got the little huggies so keeping it really minimal and stripped back but I feel like that is just my vibe for the summer now with regards to my outfits I need your help and I know obviously this isn't going up in real time and I know that I'm not able to like get your help on the day but I do find that actually you guys give the best advice and it just helps me with regards to styling in the future and knowing when I've got it right so let me know what you think I should wear today so I am really struggling between two dresses today and I am the epitome of same same but different number one I am thinking about wearing the gorgeous new dress that I showed you from forever new yesterday I love the white of this dress you would have seen me try it on yesterday so you know what it looks like my other option is actually the pink version of it and I I just feel like one of my main concerns is sitting down for afternoon tea is spilling on the white and obviously now that I've ruined my Bowden dress I feel like I have to be so so careful with my white dresses so the main thing that's kind of putting me off this one is what if I spill tea or like any of the sandwich fillers or jam or something like that on this dress this one will hide it a little bit more and also is giving me a bit more summery vibes I feel like I'm gonna be able to wear this one for longer throughout like into late summer this one I'm not so sure I'm really struggling. Let me know which one you think I should go for. Okay, I'm doing it. I'm going up for the pink floral number. I feel like it's just a little bit more fun. I love the classicness of the white, but seeing as though it's a lovely sunny summer's day, I feel like the kind of sunset colors in this dress are just so, so beautiful. So let me know if I've made the right decision down below in the comments. I feel like I'm gonna have lots of different other occasions that I can wear the white too, but I just love love this dress it is the exact same silhouette as the white one love the fact that it's got the little cutout beautiful puff sleeves and this sweetheart neckline i think is stunning i'm actually not going to go for a necklace because i feel like it actually kind of detracts from the neckline i think this is one of those dresses that just really works without styling up a necklace and as i said i'm loving very minimal vibes with my jewelry at the moment now i'm wearing it with my gorgeous little castagna espadrilles i think it looks so so beautiful but i need help with regards to bags Option one is the little Chloe basket bag, the little bucket bag. I really, really love this one and I think it goes really well with the Castanias or option two is the Loewe basket bag. Now that I'm seeing them both, I'm thinking Chloe. Yeah, I definitely think the Chloe bag works at the best. This is such a beautiful handbag. Now, I'm not entirely sure if we're going to be sitting outside, so I might take a hat with me in the car just in case, because you guys know what I'm like. I always need a hat if I'm going to be sitting outside, because I do not like the sun on my face, particularly don't like it on my scalp, because especially if I've got, like, a parting like today I always end up with a burnt scalp um so yeah I think I'm gonna bring a hat in the car but I think the outfit works best without one so I'm really happy with today's outfit I think it works really really beautifully and it's gonna be so lovely for a day at Chewton so on that note I'm gonna go and get myself ready get in the car and head down into the heart of the beautiful new forest countryside to literally one of my favorite places in the world so let's get going we have arrived at the beautiful full Tewton Glen and our first stop of course is the kitchen garden because if you remember the last time I came here in February it was pretty much non-existent and oh my goodness look at how abundant it looks now oh it's just absolutely incredible look at the sweet peas look at the artichokes oh my goodness me I mean just for size reference this is my hand next to it they are huge i cannot believe the abundance of the kitchen gardens do you remember the last time that alex and i were here and i said that it is my goal to have like a little pot abundance pot kind of situation like this 
I actually manifested that for my garden. I love how this looks. It's making me want to move my olive tree into a more prominent spot and have like, because I just love the layers. I love how this looks. But yeah, that's just reminding me that I remember when Alex and I were here in uh, February and I said that I wanted to create something like this and I have. Manifestation at its finest. <laughs> It's so abundant here that literally everything is just growing so far out. I wish they labelled everything so I would love to know what everything is. This to me looks like it could be lettuce, a particular type of lettuce. Maybe these are pumpkins? But look at the uh, vines as well, just climbing over the pergola. I love how this structure looks as well. I'm guessing this was built for some climbers. But these to me don't look like climbers. Are these squash? Potentially. I think these might be squash, but I just love the structure that this creates. And if this isn't the perfect naturally shaded canopy to sit under, oh, I absolutely love how this looks. I think it's just beautiful. The prettiest dahlias I have ever, ever seen. These are really different. They even have a couple of alliums. I mean, they've obviously gone over, but they are still here. These are just propped up by the prettiest little quince tree. I love that. I think I need to get a pot like this. How adorable is that? It looks like a little basket. If anyone knows where I can get one, I'm gonna have a look in my local garden center to see if they do something similar because I love how it looks. bathrooms before but I always feel like you know you're in a lovely establishment when the bathrooms look like this. I always love it when they give you like a full mirror to do an outfit check on as well. Loving this dress. It's also lovely and free flowing because I've already had quite a lot of sandwiches and I am eating gluten. I feel like we need to have a catch up about the gluten eating so someone remind me. <laughs> in a vlog upcoming to catch you up because now is probably not the time but um yeah i'm eating gluten and the dress is still lovely and free flowing um but love the ambiance in this bathroom i've got noble isle products which is such a gorgeous brand i love rhubarb in hand soap but yeah always know you're in a lovely place when the bathrooms look like this Full does not even cover what I am feeling right now. I am in physical pain from the amount of food we have just eaten. I feel like I always get like this with afternoon teas. I never realize how much I eat until afterwards because you're just sitting, chatting, drinking your tea. We ended up coming outside for our like final pot of tea and it was just so lovely to be sitting out in the sunshine and just soaking up that vitamin D. But one thing I always love to do whenever I've eaten a lot is to walk it off. It's a little bit windy, so I hope that that's not um, too loud on the mic, but I love walking it off and just stretching my legs and getting a bit of movement. You know what I'm like? I feel like I've become such an earth mother, like with regards to like my gardening, my grounding, my like movement, but I just, I love it. I love to be able to get a bit of movement in and just kind of like let your food digest really naturally. So I think we're going to have a walk around the grounds because the grounds here are just spectacular. I mean, look behind me, look at how stunning this is it's just absolutely incredible i've got this stunning pergola behind me and then these rose bushes in june are normally just absolutely filled with flowers i think they've already deadheaded them i think they may have already gone over but we've got this stunning climbing what is this actually if anyone knows let me know it's not a clematis i don't think maybe it's a particular type of rose because it does look a little bit thorny and then you can see here we've got some hydrangeas which look like they're about to come out in bloom and just look at this view oh my goodness me it's just absolutely incredible there's a golf course up here which i think alex would very much like to play at one day um, and then we've also got the swimming pool down here which is the outdoor pool that they have which is surrounded by the most stunning lavender and it's just so beautiful and inviting so i think we're going to go for a lovely walk around the grounds now try and give you a bit of a tour if i can 
the most beautiful hydrangeas. Look at these coming out. Oh my goodness me, the absolute dream. Hopefully one day my star jasmine will grow as big as this. I can't tell you how amazing this smells right now. We've got one, two, three, four, and they are just incredible. How much convincing do you think it will take to get Alex on board with getting a pergola like this at the bottom of our garden, surrounded by the lavender, and obviously we've got the wisteria going up. Oh my goodness me, the dream. They honestly just have the most amazing array of flowers. And we've got Agapantha growing. Look how stunning this looks. Oh, it's amazing. I think this is my favorite little corner the bar. I bet this is buzzing on a summer's evening. We've even got a little Mirabeau pop up. I do love Mirabeau Rose. And look out onto the croquet lawn. Just looks absolutely spectacular. I don't want to go home. <laughs> Honestly, this is like my favorite place in the world. It's just so calm and tranquil. I wish we'd booked a room for the evening, but we have just had the loveliest, lovely day. What I'll do actually is I'll leave the um, the vlog down below where I stayed the night with Alex. We had like a bit of a romantic Valentine's staycation back in February. So obviously the grounds are looking very, very different and abundant. I mean, look at this. This floral arch is just amazing. Um, but if you want to see what the rooms look like, I will leave that linked down below as well as like the spa and stuff. But time to go home, time to say goodbye to my favorite place.